welcome to the ticker where we give you your daily dose of what's happening now. And in some cases, what's happening now is what's been happening. What are the benefits to buying a home? Well, they're the same as they've always been, and that is if you buy a home, you can write off that mortgage interest. You can paint and decorate and do whatever you like without having to ask a landlord. And eventually, after you keep paying for a few years, you have the option of being rent-free, mortgage-free, not having a payment, which is really appealing when you get to a t a retirement and you have that large chunk of equity. Basically, guys, what got us here today is a uh, Wall Street Journal piece about is now the time to buy. And they basically highlighted the four key factors that are going to get us back into that, you know, everybody buying spree as far as, far as home ownership goes. The first thing that they talked about was uh, employment. Basically, guys, we all know that the housing market is largely going to uh, recover once we get back to a decent employment numbers. That increase in revenue, that increase in, in income, that increase in employment is going to give that confidence and that buying power back to the community at large to be able to get back into homes. Well, buying power, they get the confidence from that sometimes with affordability yes. too. And the fact of the matter is with rent rising and house prices dropping, things are becoming more and more affordable. And if when you do the calculations, if you can buy a home for roughly the same price as what you would be renting for when you add in your mortgage insurance mm -hmm. and um, that sort of thing, if it calculates out about the same, then it might be a good time for you to buy. And going from there is going to be your credit. <laughs> some, some might not be so happy to hear this, but the credit restraints aren't looking like they're going to change anytime soon. And when they do start changing, they're going to change very slowly. So unfortunately, good credit is going to be needed to buy a home. But for those who have good credit and or have good uh, employment status, there's plenty plenty of lenders out there willing to give you a loan. Absolutely. And those three kind of topics really kind of culminate together on just the general psychology of buying a home right now, guys. A lot of people out there are scared. They don't want what has happened in these past few years to happen to them. They don't want to be in a weird foreclosure situation or a short sale situation. They want to be able to have the equity. They want to buy in a good market. And we understand that. We really think that as the unemployment starts to dip um, and get back into a more reasonable range, that's going to happen. In fact, the chief executive for Toll Brothers, the home builder, the luxury home builder, just uh, told his shareholders in May that they're starting to see a lot of people come off the fence that, you know, um, either first time or second time home buyer uh, that, you know, had a few small children a couple years back when all of the uh, uh, housing markets started to come down. They're now in a situation where they got middle schoolers, they got kids kind of growing up, they would like to get into a home, and they're starting to come off the fence because of employment, affordability, and of course their credit's in a position it needs to be in. Uh, the last thing we want to touch base on today, guys, we've all recently heard about the news coming out of Joplin, Missouri, the devastation that happened with the largest you know, tornado to touch down on U.S. soil in uh, decades. Um, and we have a really great story uh, coming out of there from McKellar Williams' office. Well, we've dealt with many charities through Keller Williams and helping them out, and it's something that we enjoy doing. And it was, it just was so moving for us that they were stepping up and getting involved in this also. Apparently, in Joplin, they had over 100 KW agents, and seven of them lost their homes during this tragedy. Even more than that, one of them lost their son driving home from um, graduation. So this was a very epic tragedy, and it's something that's not going to recover quickly because without the property, these people have nothing to get an income from. Absolutely, guys. The long and short of it is, is that there's a Keller Williams office out of St. Louis that really has no affiliation with this one out of Joplin, but they decided to step in using the KW Cares uh, 501c3 Foundation and, um, you know, give. They're doing a charity drive for $100,000 to be able to help these agents out. Um, we would love for you guys to get involved if you can. Uh, we've linked up the Facebook page down below. Um, if you get an opportunity to either A, share this with someone uh, that you think would be able to give, or if you yourself can get involved, that would be fantastic. Um, it's a story that we hear time and time again throughout the real estate community. It's just, it, it, they take care of one another, they sacrifice, and they get out there and they do what they have to do. They, you know, they pull in the ranks and they help everybody that's out. Right. And that's why we love the industry. So please, guys, if you can, get involved. Um, as always, subscribe for free over on the side and, of course, forward this along um, if you know someone that can help. 
most definitely. And you can always follow us on Twitter or check us out on Facebook, and we will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.